for certain VM projects. Well, as we heard earlier, in a move that shocked many listeners this afternoon, Hamish and Andy called a family meeting and decided to call it a day for Drive Time Radio. Many people's drive home will never be the same again. They are fronting up to explain themselves, though. Please welcome Hamish and Andy. <laughs> It's with great regret we announced that the interview is over. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. No comment. We are lucky because you guys actually just turned up. You were booked here months ago to turn up to, to flog this DVD. Which, well, no, no to excitingly not. inform everyone. Yes. <laughs> How about you know, just come to DVD? <laughs> Are you going to have to live on the royalties, off the royalties of this thing now? I hope. <laughs> So why have you done it? You've quit. Well, it well, was an elaborate game of high stakes, truth or dare. Yeah. And <laughs> no, look, it's um, it's obviously a decision that for people that that, that weren't listening to the radio show this afternoon, and that that's okay, you're allowed not to listen. Um, <laughs> it's um, we're not quitting the radio show. We're moving it to one show a week, one two hour show a week. It's not fun a fun size shell. Fun size. Just a it's a water bomb. Well, We've dropped a water bomb. I've, well, I've got a picture of Oz stereo executives sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> With no. joy. Because <laughs> no longer will the chairs keep disappearing. Appearing from the office. No, we just needed, we needed a bit of a chance to uh, to free our arms a bit, to have a swing at something else. We've had a, f a fair few ideas that have been on the back burner, and we wanted to, I suppose, put them on the front burner. Um, well, and then working two hours a day for well, millions no. of dollars was just it's too much. It's bloody hard, Hugh. But what, it's but really hard. seriously, though, the, the, the executives would have turned up with a massive truck full of cash. <laughs> yeah. They'd have actually turned around to leave. Yeah. Well, it, that, and we thought that was disrespectful to money. We said if you'd put it in a suitcase... <laughs> Obviously, care you have no care for money. Um, the the look, choice of truck. No, it's the choice of truck. It, look, look, obviously, that, that that just doesn't come into it. It's it's about Andrew and I going. Look, you know, we're very excited to do. You know, we're sort of approaching thirty. We're still pretty young. We've had an oh, you're awesome. Over the hill. Well, yeah. we've, we've had an awesome five years on the show, and it's not the end of anything. It just evolves into the next couple of years. We mm. pull back a little bit on the radio side of things, and I'll improve you know, my golf game. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Andy, one of the gossip mags though reported the other week that uh, there's a pregnancy. Are you pregnant? I am pregnant. Yeah. Uh, that's why uh, you would have seen a shot of me. I was wearing a scarf, and the scarf was yeah. over my baby bump, of course, to cover it. <laughs> yeah. um, no, look, absolutely not. It's nothing to do with that. It's just, uh, hey, it would actually be more of a story. No to you not being pregnant, like, it's a I, uh, serious question. Or my partner being uh, being pregnant, nothing to do with it. Now, you are here to plug your DVD. What's some of the highlights from your caravan of courage and yeah. adventures? Well, well wait, wait, what, what better way to celebrate uh, the evolution of the Hamish and Andy radio show going to one day a week than <laughs> rushing out and buying the Caravan of Courage DVD? In time for Father's Day. Look, no, there's plenty of people may or may not have seen it, and um, there's plenty of special features that didn't make it uh, on the DVD. My personal favourite is, if people may remember, we were in the middle of Ireland at a haunted castle, and we had spent a lot of money on a thermal imaging camera hoping to find a ghost. Because ghosts uh, are hotter than... <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. We couldn't find a ghost, uh, as guys would do when they had a lot of time on their hands. They would try to thermal image a pants ghost. Flatulence. Yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, that earned, earned probably the right amount of time on the TV show being 20 seconds. Uh, it went for a hell of a lot Jeez. longer than... It's a long time when we're out there filming it. As you can see. Turn around. Slide on. <laughs> can you see? You just need to see a bit of... Slide on. Slide on. <laughs> that's, that's better. Ready? That's better for the folks at home. Yeah. Oh, f <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I think it might be a slightly more solid ghost than we were before. <laughs> this isn't footage of a cell I want my family to see and be proud of, but I haven't seen any other ghosts, so just trying to produce my own little scientifically controlled ghost. I'm locked on over here. Good. You ready? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> It goes for a hell of a lot longer than that. We actually couldn't still coming now, actually. <laughs> um, the Caravan of Courage, you've been uh, to the US, you've been to the UK. We're next. Is it a, is it a boat is up it again? Is it too shameful to say Chadston tomorrow night to do a signing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Hamish Nader's Caravan of Courage DVD is out tomorrow. You can see more of the, that fascinating scene that we just saw there. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay. Thanks. Dr Andrew Rochford and Dr Chris Brown as well. Tens late news at 10.30 tonight. Stay tuned now for all new Simpsons. Bye. Yeah.